I still have like 65 to finish. You finished? Mm. Yeah. Not you. you. It's all untangled for you now. Anyways, there guys. There you go. Oh Anyways, guys, welcome back. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. You're all whores. We probably shouldn't do that. So is your dad upstairs? Probably. <laughs> guys, can okay. I do my intro? Yes, go for it. Yeah, go for it. Are you sure? <laughs> no. No. How's it going, everybody? Hey. This is the broken voice. It is not. Well, it is. <laughs> <laughs> James's podcast. I'm Chris. Hey, guys. Welcome back to yeah. the broken voice. I am here with Connor, new you know. uh, old person that I kicked out of the group that I put back in. I'm, I took you out of the uh, YouTube group section for a while because you weren't posting anything, but I put you back in. I've been busy. Masturbating. Shut up. That's and then not annoyed. important. So, Connor is the gaming nerd, or what I like to call the gay nerd. Fuck you. Anyways, we got uh, Chris here. <laughs> we'll be right back after this commercial. <laughs> okay, anyways, we're back. Uh, Santa came down the chimney and all that. <laughs> and Chris, and fuck Sexy him. music. Anyway, so I don't know what I said last. Uh, oh, wait, we're here with Chris. Yeah, I already introduced myself. Shut up, man. He's the uh, Dead of Kingdoms. He doesn't post that all because, you know, he's garbage. Oh, I can't, so... He's a queer. Then we are here with Kat. Uh, she's a person. I'm a person. And then we're here with Tomas, the uh, Master of Wolves. He's also a Mexican. Yes. Yeah, my yeah, home. boy. And we are here with your boy. And he eats tacos without me. And we're here with your boy, you Jehovah. Man. Jehovah? You know, uh... Jehovah. Jehovah. No, not Jehovah. What's his name? He calls Jehovah himself Jehovah. Huh? You gotta hit the guard into your heart. <laughs> What's his name? <laughs> like Jay-Z. He's like, it's a boy. Jay-Z. Um, I have no fucking clue. Who <laughs> the... Shut up. Anyway. Shut up. Anyway. Anyways, uh, today's no, podcast. Will you shut up? In today's no, podcast... I got a message. We're gonna be talking about what... What movie movies we're looking forward to. Like... Marvel, like, so comics. Any movie that, w any, like... Comic book related movies, or TV shows, or whatnot, that are coming out. So, like, does it have to be, like, comic book? It doesn't have to be. It's okay. whatever you want to talk about. Well, you just said, hey, like, sweetheart. Not, not your favorite porn, Tomas. That's a different subject. <laughs> not that hint I shit. <laughs> you know, your, your Mexicans are into weird stuff, like jalapenos going to each other and whatnot. What? Yeah. Anyways... Bestiality and shit. <laughs> oh my god. Can we get back on the track? <laughs> okay. I forgot what I was going to say because of you. Come on, suck that bestiality. Will you shut up? I'll shave your fuzzy taco if you don't shut up. I don't have a fuzzy taco. <laughs> Alright, anyway, so... You've got a moldy taco. Oh my god. I have a fuzzy taco. We're off to a great start already. <laughs> okay, sorry. So, will you shut up? I don't wanna. I'm not gonna have the strength. He was apologizing. Don't be mean to Connor. Hey, you stay out of this, fatso. <laughs> I'm sorry, Daddy Senpai. Daddy, hey, that's my thing. <laughs> Is it, Chris? Anyways, all right. So, what movies yeah, are you I looking forward to, Mark Tomas? Markiplier's comic book thing, and I got a free T-shirt. Oh my god! Really? Yeah, and the Markiplier number one giant thing. I don't know when it's getting delivered though. Chris, Chris, Chris. Stay yeah. on topic, dickhead. Not. I was still going to talk to Tomas. Um, oh my goodness. He posted it on Facebook. Just oh. go to his Facebook page. He Tomas! It. Yes, what? Sorry. What movies what are movies? you looking forward to? I'm looking forward to, like, new, um... Uh, Suicide Squad. I'm looking forward to, like, Jeepers Creepers 3. And, like, like, all ways of these. Oh, um, <laughs> Incredibles 2. No, I, I forgot that, that was uh, yeah, got announced. Yeah, that, that's been that's been announced. Yeah, it's been announced. I thought I saw a teaser trailer for that. It's not, no, not yet. No, I can't wait for that one. That one. Maybe it was a fake trailer. Last I went time. Put that on a uh, you know, vibrate. What was it? When when Fine. the trailers came out, it was like 2007, I think it was. What 2005? 2005. It's an old old movie. Yeah. It came out. Yeah. yeah, and they didn't. They haven't made a sequel until now. I mean, kind of like the Finding Dory movie after Finding Nemo. Right. When like, like people in their early twenties are like shoving five year olds to the floor to get into the theater first. Yeah, yeah. I do that. I do that every day. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I would do that too. I'm just like, oh, you guys are waiting for that movie. Like, I've been waiting for this for a while slam now. Slam the door in their face and knock them out. Yeah, <laughs> I would do that. I think you bury them. All right. Whoa. Movies. Well, then you're gonna miss the movie. Well, you kill them and then bury them after the movie's over. Showing. 
Anyways, God, I don't want to kill myself. Anyways, I forgot what I was gonna say again. Not my fault. <laughs> yeah, it is. You keep talking over me. We're talking, about, we're talking about comic. Books. Oh, I'm 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 well aware of that. And apparently, Incredibles. So. Well, that's kind of a severe Finding Nemo. Let's how. Let's talk about the new Lego Batman hey, movie. There you go. That looks really good. It looks Nemo hilarious. Nemo is my superhero. <laughs> you can leave my house right now. <laughs> like you know where the doors and everything. <laughs> I don't give a shit. You're walking home. <laughs> Alright, anyways. Chris, movies, you're looking forward to? Uh, I don't know. I, I'm really looking forward to uh, the Spider-Man movie. Oh, uh, the Spider-Man so Homecoming? Yeah. No, I didn't know that. Because I'd like to, like, I'd, so far I don't know how the new Spider-Man is going to carry a like, movie on his own. So far, what I've seen in uh, Civil War, I'm liking what his betrayal is of Spider-Man. I think he can hold a portrayal. decent... Not that's betrayal. What, shut up. You know what I meant. He's a hard okay. I'm really interested to see like how he does the character from the other ones, because he's really young. He's like 15 right yeah. now, he's which is Matt's, like Matt's uh, you know, preferred age. <laughs> <laughs> he does he, like the... He, he's mid-high school, school, yeah. What about you, Cat? Matt's not even here, and we're already bagging on it. Right? Movies. Why Pretty not? sure we all know which movie I want. Suicide? Yeah. Squad. <laughs> not <laughs> yeah. Suicide the movie, that sounds pretty dark. But then I hear there's supposed to be a Deadpool 2 coming out. Yeah, it's coming yeah. out uh, either, I think it's coming out in 2018. They started filming that right after the first one was completed. No, they started filming about around now, I think. They oh. started writing on the script right after because I already yeah. knew that Deadpool 1 was going to be awesome and it's going to be very successful Deadpool 1 Deadpool. it's just Deadpool Deadpool's awesome <laughs> yeah. there's no Deadpool Shut 1 <laughs> the first there's, Deadpool movie there you go uh what about you Connor Deadpool movie <laughs> great I'm, I never heard of that <laughs> definitely girls. Deadpool 2 and it's girls. <laughs> girls and then the girls, Star Wars girls, movies girls. Gonna get her number. Or I'm gonna like last time. <laughs> yeah. Movies I'm looking forward to. Oh boy, there's a lot. Uh, a lot Doctor Strange. I wasn't really on board at first, but seeing the second trailer, the whole magical, mystical sh stuff of it's really drawing me. And they're just trying something a lot new that they haven't done before. Interesting. Very. Uh, they're not. They're definitely not afraid to take a step, Marvel. Um, because. Back when Guardians of the Galaxy was, they really haven't done any space stuff before, and that was a huge step for them to try to do. Yeah. Because nobody really heard of Guardians of the Galaxy before. What's that? Uh, what's that one movie that came out a while ago? Inception. It has a very Inception-like feel to it. But I don't. I haven't know. actually like, watched just, Inception. It the whole weird. everything just being warped into something completely different. Yeah, it's, kind it's of. It's really weird. And it's like I'm not saying it's bad if they can make it good. <laughs> what Doctor Strange? Yeah, Doctor Strange. Okay, I was confused. I thought you were talking about uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Like, wait, when was there, like, Inception? Yeah. Oh, I'm talking yeah. about Doctor Strange. Yeah. But, like, the whole That'd reality is being warped, and it's kind of throwing me off. I'm not saying they can't make it good, but... It's It'll be interesting, that's for sure. Um, I'm also really interested in seeing what they're going to do with, uh... The, what DC's going to do with uh, their universe now. Since they're slowly catching up to Marvel, but not really, yeah. they're still very far behind. Mm -hmm. I mean... I, people have high expectations for Suicide Squad. Um, I'm going to go in with an open mind. Looks, looks interesting. I'm sure Jared Leto is going to make a. It's going to be a fantastic Joker. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm pretty sure yeah. that majority of people don't even necessarily like Suicide Squad. They're just going because Harley Quinn. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Yeah. Which I mean, Harley Quinn was kind of hot for a while. Harley Quinn's always been hot. Yeah. It's just the yeah. fact that recently yeah. they took all of her clothes off because of the actress playing it. Yeah. yeah. And, like, she's wearing, like, a tank top and, like, underwear. Mm -hmm. That's it. She's wearing shoes. Mm -hmm. Counting everything below or above, you know, here in the crotch crotchial area. Don't you know that that's what all the teenagers are wearing? Don't nowadays? you know? Just yeah. tank tops and underwear. Dude, I mean, well, that's I mean, right. Pretty much. Pretty much. Shorts? Yeah. Pretty I, much I, underwear I, now. I, I've worn shorts. Not shorts like that, but yeah. Dude, I, that's I, hot. I know of shorts, yes. 
you know, of shorts. Yes. I'm wearing a pair that I've never worn in years. Yeah, well, I'm wearing some khakis like Jake from State Farm. Huh. Well, they're just shorts, not actual khakis. Well, what like. about shows wise? Shows? Like TV series? Yeah. Dude, Luke Cage. Luke Cage. Luke Cage looked interesting. Like, I am excited because I'm not really looking forward to seeing it. It just looked interesting. Well, I mean, it when I when, a when, car door around another dude. I know, but it, <laughs> just, it didn't get my like no, well, full attention. The it. thing, it Marvel's the Netflix Marvels, yeah. uh, they're really good at telling stories. Because at first I wasn't con- really sure about Jessica Jones, but after watching all 13 episodes, um, how well developed all the characters are and all that, it's. I think they're gonna do an excellent job for Luke Cage. I have high hopes. I want. I really want to get. Um. I really want the new series of like the Flash, the Arrow, Le- uh, the League of Tomorrow. I think it's what it's called. Yeah. Legends of Tomorrow. The League of Tomorrow. The League of Tomorrow. I, I was trying to. Yeah, it's, let's start a league, but it's gonna be tomorrow. The Legends of Tomorrow. I want those and, and like those series to come out already because I saw. Tomorrow. That's the whole on, series. Uh, on I think Twitter mm-hmm. of the Flash. And it was gonna. I really flashes people. No, it has. Dude, he's so quick that they, they don't even. <laughs> Shut up. He's not running around. With they don't even out. see his. Like, oh. <laughs> like uh, what is? There's a picture of somebody else as the Flash in the uh, Justice League movie. You said no for the the Flash on on uh, TV the series. Oh, the show. Yeah. Yeah. It has uh, somebody else as like a Flash costume, and I really want to see what that's all about. But I, th- I think it's weird. I I've never seen them have like an Asian character play the Flash until uh, Batman v Superman. Batman vs Superman. Yeah, the moment I saw that, I thought that was pretty cool. They changed it up. See, I thought he was Hispanic because in, in Batman v Superman, like he looked Hispanic and he had a mustache and long hair. Yeah, but it's the more you look at it, the more you can scene. tell it's, he's not Hispanic. He looks Asian a little bit. Like, what kind of Asian? Like, um, oh, bing bong probably, <laughs> really? like, oh, uh, like, Vietnamese, almost, like, uh, uh Korean around there. Your favorite sport okay. is ping pong. <laughs> like, it looks like almost, sort of, like, in between both of those, uh, regions. Sweet. But he, it looks interesting. Like they, they, normally, it's a white character, and then they change it up to a different, uh, Character color, and it's just. Are we still talking about him being Asian? Yes. Okay, because like I, I like how we're describing the amount of Asian <laughs> that the new Flash is. I, I, I thought it was pretty cool. I thought it was like, oh, they took it from where it was normally this per- certain kind of person and changed it to this kind of person. But isn't it the same? He has the same name then. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Barry Allen, but it, it's just a different character. That is not a Chinese name. Yeah, I know exactly. So you're Chinese. What did you? What are your thoughts on the Chinese. portrayal of the Flash and uh, the trailer for Justice, Justice League? League. Uh, I kind of liked it. I thought it was interesting because when we saw the, the original, himself. when he was like laying there, it looked he, he didn't look like laying there. Like, like when he was like uh, he was sleeping on his, at his desk, when like he had like the, the dream about him being there oh. and seeing him. It looks like a different character. It does, I think it's the same actor. I don't, I don't know if it is or not. Unless that's just him as older, and this is him like when he's a little bit younger. No, no, because this takes place right after Batman v Superman. Does it? Yeah, because Batman said at the end of the movie that they need to uh, get all these uh, misfits together and form our team to defend, become the defenders of the Avengers. I don't think it, it looks, it, the characters just don't defenders match up. Defenders of the like. Avengers. <laughs> Nick Fury showed up at the end of it, you know. <laughs> yeah. Because if you look at it, it looks like anything. one person, and then when he brings up the other kid that plays the Flash, it's a different character. It looks like. So, what are your thoughts of the Snyder going a lot more darker in the series of the movie of the DC movies? Because, as we all know, Batman kills people. Fuck you. Yeah. Yes. Oh, they're never going to hear that episode, by the way. Why? Lucy's crying the entire time in the background. I didn't want to post that. Is she? Yeah. What? Uh, yeah. Batman's a killer or not? Yeah. Episode that I did. Yeah, he like he is a killer. People's faces into the floor and shooting them and whatnot. No, he blows a guy up. They're sleeping. They're all just we're not, th- we're not pieces. Yes. We're, we're, not, we're not getting on this discussion. This is, that's a different discussion. He a touchy subject, blew a guy up. Like yeah, yeah, he blew a guy. Okay, okay. No, back back to what we're doing. Yeah, he blew a guy. I, I think it looks interesting, honestly. Like, I like his character. And the yes. 
Yes, in the ass. We took his character in the ass. Every since he loved it. just ended in the ass. Ever since I left the city, you... No, sorry. <laughs> in the ass. Um, what else? I'm... <laughs> scared me. I'm also looking forward to uh, the new Pirates of the Caribbean coming out next year. Uh, Dead Man Tales on Tale? Yeah. I, I haven't think seen I any previews I don't think it. I've seen any No, not yet. It comes yet. out in uh, the summer. Mm -hmm. I wonder how that's going to go. That would be cool, though. Is that going to be, like, the last next one summer. they're making? I believe it, it is, unless it makes uh, a billion unless, dollars yeah. again, like the fourth one. Because I'm wondering like, yeah, we'll how long are they going <laughs> to, yeah. like, expand the Pirates of the Caribbean series? I mean, they could probably do it without Depp and just expand other characters. I know, but I'm, I'm just wondering how I long. Know, but I don't even know if I really want to see it anymore. I mean, I would just watch nothing but Kira Knightley. Kira Knightley hasn't chest. been. She has been in it since the third one. She hasn't. Oh, no, uh -huh. she's done with those movies. Oh. Well, I know Lena Bloom's coming back for the fifth one. It is still. But Kira Knightley still be the, isn't. No, that's really done. I never really followed the series anyway, though. So. I love the series. Like, it's I'm not Davey saying Jones it's a bad still. series. It's just like, I'm not even sure which ones I have and haven't seen. Uh, I can name them off, but I don't feel like it. I wouldn't know if I've seen it by the name. Of it. Um, <laughs> Black Pearl. I know I've seen that. Curse of the Black Pearl. I don't know which. I don't know which of the two of the Anyways, two um, that I've seen. At, I'm at World's End is a hard one. Looking to have because I, I don't remember how the last jump. one ended off. Uh, Will Turner or which one? Wasn't it Will Turner became the captain of the Flying Dutch Dutchman? Oh, that's in the third. That one. was in the end of the third. What, what was the... Was there a fourth movie? The fourth movie was... Uh, about the, Fountain of Youth. Yeah, Fountain of Youth. Okay. I, I forgot how that ended. Uh, uh, it ended with... Oh, okay. Blackbeard okay. getting I remember with uh, them trying to figure out how to get the, the ship out. Yeah, and they have a whole fleet. I'm wondering how they're going to, like, expand Dude, the midget, guy, midget guy's back. I like the midget, midget guy. Midget oh, dude. I remember. He's that. my favorite one. I wonder how they're going to, like, tell the story of how they get out of the, the thing Chain there. there. That's fine. And the new They one. might not even. I don't, I don't, that's all I'm wondering. Like, you know how are they going to continue this story? Also, um, so did you hear that they're going to be uh, making a... Like, Star Wars is like, getting more and more movies. They're going to be doing that with Indiana Jones. They're what? They're going to make more Indiana Jones? Yeah. Sweet. But, but Harrison like is so old. I mean, I can see him probably doing one more. I can't see him doing an entire series. He I can't do another I entire thought, series. I thought when they made uh, Kingdom of the Crystal Skulls, because at the end they had Shia LaBeouf put on his hat. Now, Shia LaBeouf's almost done on his hat. Shia LaBeouf's is pretty much done back now. Yeah. They, they're not doing Shia LaBeouf anymore? No. Thank He's No, I mean, Shia LaBeouf is an actor himself. He's done acting. Well, I thought, yeah, I thought that uh, they were going to have uh, like his son or something take over the role of Indiana Jones. No. And like that's what I was saying. Father for guidance, like his dad is no longer going to be I mean, that big been, of a the, part of the movie. There's been rumors that Chris Pratt uh, could take the mantle of Indiana Jones. Yeah. Now that would be something cool. And do like a uh, a reboot. Essential or, or a continuation of the story of like he could be like. I, I don't know how that's going to work though, because if you think Indiana about it, how is it going to add on from where they left off? He somehow has to. Pass the reins to someone. Like yeah. I feel like they if they do like Indiana somewhere. Jones six, like well, I mean uh, Indiana Jones was a player. Chris Probably has like seven sons or something. He is a player. He is. He had sex with a lot of women. Only he, there's four movies and tons of books and comics. Or they could have Short Round come back. <laughs> yes. And it could just be like a Short Round spinoff because that would be awesome. Yeah, I like Short Round. He was funny. I don't know. I'm wondering how they're going to do that. How's the template do? I'll see around. India Jones. I know Jurassic League <laughs> started uh, production on Jurassic World 2. Did they? Which, yeah, I'm excited for. The, the Seriously? Jurassic World movie? Can, that. Why would they left the movie open? Is it still going to have sequel? Chris Pratt and yeah. that other girl in it? Yeah. Okay. Don't they know not to do that? You think they'd they left like, it open for a sequel? The guy, I know. No, it's not like them that did it. People keep dying. Chris, it's, it's not them who did Chris. It's not them. It's the guy with the yeah, Asian, Asian guy, guy. He, he, from the original the movie. Yeah, it. I remember that. He just keeps doing it. He's money hungry. But don't they know that after a certain amount of time, oh, yeah, he, he, yeah, you sound like a four-year-old. Don't they know? Dude, it could be like in theory, it's a good idea. It's just they try to meddle with it, and then things go bad. Yeah, when you try and meddle with things and change like, things, like, where they're not let's supposed to make be. a whole new dinosaur that's just 
Even Stronger more terrifying than the any line. other that was dinosaur we've ever made. What? That was sponsored by Verizon. What was? And let down the down the Rex. Let's, let's just oh, yeah. pray to God it doesn't get loose. <laughs> because if it gets loose, we, we fuck. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> they literally had to have a whale eat it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Essentially, let's get the Mosasaurus over there. Yep. The Star Wars. What it was. There's another Rogue. Rogue One coming out this at the end of this year. That looks interesting. That looks pretty cool. Especially when uh, why do you think Star Wars? Who was that? Uh, the, the the character, the black character. You know exactly what we were talking about. The guy that's like talking. What would they do if they break you or something? Well, this is getting some kinky territory, isn't it? No, shut up. So He's far, you're talking free. about a black guy. He's, He's, He's a Jedi. I know that. Mm-hmm. Mason, I don't. Know. No, he's not. He's a blind. Um, no, he's not a. He's like a bounty hunter yeah. type person. Not a Jedi. Oh, I what forgot is? what he was. I, I know, know the difference. Guy. I know there's a blind Jedi. He's an Asian guy. Yeah. Which spoiler? Okay. Um. But uh, uh, he said on the guy revealed a major spoiler. The blind. The guy that plays the blind guy on the. Uh, what's called the panel? Yeah. I don't know if you want me to tell you guys what he says because it will. It's a big thing in the movie. How about you tell us after the podcast? Alright. Yeah, because I don't think other people are going to know that. But, you no, know, I know that the, the... What the fuck is his name? I don't know his name. But I... But do you know what I'm talking about? Oh, right, yeah, him. It, it, when he was talking, and it was showing the clips of the, the chick, and then at the end, it's just her wearing that black suit. I'm wondering... Mm, yeah, talking about... Shut this. up! <laughs> Shut up! Not like I'm that. If she, you're mine out of the gutter. We're talking I here. I wonder if she turns. That's what I'm wondering. Like, no, because she's in no, disguise. No. She's in like disguise, scared. obviously, to get the plants of the Death Star. I like how they like have the story continue and then like make one more and then it's like, oh, this is the prior what happens way beforehand. The it, entire it's beginning. Going in between, uh, it's right before A New Hope is what they're putting it for. Speaking yeah. of Star Wars, um, next year, Episode Eight. You know what's coming around? It's coming out around episode eight as well. What? Avatar two. Uh, <laughs> Seriously? No, this is it's big. With those funny blue people. Yeah. Not there's, the. There's huge yeah, you know Smur- Smurfs. Cool. <laughs> there's yeah. a huge. The tall Smurfs. This is gonna be the people are saying this is gonna be this huge battle of Star Wars versus Avatar. Star, Star Wars, Wars is gonna, gonna wipe them. them out. And, and we were talking about this at Arby's earlier, and I'm like, all right, a movie series <laughs> that's been around since the seventies and everyone loves or blue people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but Avatar does not stand Star a chance. Wars. All the way. <laughs> Blue I, people I, I that have sex with them at the beginning, mm. being neck and neck a little bit. No, not even. No, no. just by a small amount. They're gonna get crushed. By a small amounts. And, the, and then Star Wars taking over the completely. It's James Cameron's own fault for putting uh, Avatar two so close to the release of Star Wars Episode Eight. That movie's not gonna do as well. It's no. gonna get wiped. I, I can see them at the beginning, like the very small amount being almost similar, and then just Star Wars completely taking Dude, it over. You're an idiot for making any release date anywhere near a Star Wars yeah. release date. Because it's going to get overpowered. Because I do believe that uh, Pirates of the Caribbean was supposed to come out around the winter with, uh, no, Star Wars was supposed to come out in the summer of 2017, but then they pushed it back and they moved uh, Pirates of the Caribbean up into the summer. Okay. So that the movies want to compete <laughs> with each other, because they're di- both Disney movies. Yeah. Yeah. And they're both good movies. Um, but I, I can see that just being a little bit and then just completely maybe the over. first day yeah that's what I'm saying just like but a little bit and then that, that Star Wars, Star Wars, Wars is going to kill them all the way I think they waited a little too long for a sequel for Avatar people are not as interested, interested. as they originally were yeah I, I wouldn't even be surprised if it didn't even have the original characters in it I think it is I don't know because really the only one person that I remember was the guy that was a cripple and he becomes one of the blue people. Yes, one of the blue. At people the very had, end, one of the blue people that has sex with their ponytails. Yes, <laughs> I, I think. And I think the movie's gonna flop, and they be hitting fucking all over the place. I think it's gonna flop as well. I, it might be interesting, <sighs> and then it just might go downhill. I was not a fan of the first one. It might be a movie that everyone thinks sucks, but like certain people. It's might gonna be that one guy like, oh my god, this is the best movie ever. Yeah, there there'll always there are, be a there are people like that somewhere out there that thinks it's great. Okay. It's I gotta decent. ask you a question. No. What do you guys think decent. of the new it's Ghostbusters there. movie? Have I haven't you seen, seen it. it? No. I have not seen it. I have no but intent of seeing it. I don't want to see it. Terrible. It sounds stupid. Literally, Dude, it I looks heard, so stupid. I heard that the, that the cast hated their lines so much that it reflected on their acting. Like, you can tell. They, they know the lines are bad, and it reflects on their acting because 
that they put like little to no emotion in it. Really? Yeah. And I saw Tristan posted on Facebook that the writing was shit. It was awful. Because it's literally just a lot of awkward conversation. Probably. Yeah. That's all it is. Why? Did you see it? No, I haven't seen it. Are my uh, brother it? took his family to the movies, and my niece loves it, apparently. Of course he would. She, she little would children see it. would love it. Yeah. Because it's supposed to draw it's in a younger... Childish family. humor is what it, It's yeah. nowhere close to the, uh, the original humor. Movie. Yeah. Like, literally, my brother and his I know wife Bill, did not like it. I know Bill Murray it. has a uh, cameo in it. Does he? Uh, he was for, he was forced to. He was forced to. He was they also for, he was also forced to um promote the movie. Oh god, that sucks. Promoting a movie that you don't it's like. Shit. But there's this thing like the black actress and people were treating tweeting her really awful things about that and, like. My brother was, was actually talking about that. I mean, what? It's it's not her fault that she was in a bad movie. Yeah. She's just doing a job. She just took a job. Don't go spreading hate on her. Also, honey. It's it's a uh, welcome to Hollywood, you know. Suck it up. Okay. What is it? My brother was talking about that they uh, were saying something about her role in the movie. Well, no, like people on Twitter were like, yeah, on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, it's just like if if you're supposed to promote a movie and they originally tell you it's it's Ghostbusters two, you're gonna be like, oh, cool. And then when you like see the right of it, like, no, I don't I don't want to do this. Like, well, you're going to. You already signed on. I was like, yeah. what the fuck. We'll see, like... That's like... like Ghostbusters, is a, it's great. Yeah, the originals are. The original, I love them. Uh, the second one wasn't that great. Yeah, mm-hmm. the first one was the best, but... Everything you love about this first one is in the second one. It's essentially the exact same story. So they made three of them, though. They made two of them, and then they made a reboot. Yeah. Yeah, I know, but the, the re... I don't know. I don't understand why they have to change to Why'd all female cast things? and ruin things. I'm f- all for... for Female cast. Yeah, like, the that's cast, fine. That's I, fine. The people it's, that were in it were fine. Like I like those people. If they had like a better but, lines and. Better I didn't lines. ask for bridesmaids too. What? I didn't ask for bridesmaids too. I have never. The seen same it. guy that made bridesmaids. Is he? Which bridesmaids is a funny movie. I I like seeing like parts of it at my uncle's house. The my funniest part was when uh, the the chick I was getting married have uh, trying on the wedding dress runs in the middle of the street and shits in there. Dude, yes. That was, that was the funniest thought. part to me that I saw. I don't think saw. I've seen any of that. I've never seen it from beginning to end, but I've seen that, and <laughs> that made my day. So but Wonder Woman is coming out as well next that year. That movie looks awesome. Yeah, I like that. That one looks really it's nice. Takes, it's it's taking place yeah. in um, World War One, yeah. which I am really interested in. And it's got Captain in. Kirk in it. Yes, yes. But not Spock. No. <laughs> I like how they asked... Maybe Dad, that. I was like, I, what Dad? I was uh, raised... Uh, what was it? I was born by Zeus or something? Yeah. She says? I thought that was pretty interesting. Created by Zeus. It's created by Zeus. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's nice. I didn't realize that Wonder Woman was from Greek mythology, though. Yeah. Like, it's I know, an Amazonian. Yeah. Amazonian yeah, whatever it's called. Amazonian. I didn't realize that was Greek mythology. An Amazonian but, like, warrior. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, like, she, it, she's hardly the first superhero in a comic book series that's from a mythology. Yeah. Or, like, Thor's mythology. Thor's yep. Uh... What's his name? Look, no. Aquaman is supposed to resemble uh, Poseidon. Yeah, Poseidon yeah. resembles Poseidon. Yeah. Which, if you think about it, yeah, it kind of does. Uh, Asgard represents Odin. the Vikings and all that. Yeah. Same with Odin and everybody. Yeah. They yeah, all yeah. resemble somebody from Greek mythology. Thor re- resembles Thor. But I didn't like. I didn't Thor's realize name. that Greek mythology was like part of the DC-ish universe. Yeah. And, like, part of it is. And like well, Norse if, mythology is part of the Marvel universe. And, yeah. I believe they introduced that to Wonder Woman. They like told a backstory of her being a warrior woman. But then they also got Black Adam, which is Egyptian mythology. They use that all mythology added from it. They like, like every part. They're like, of how about we just throw a bunch of gods in there? And like, let's just overpower the shit out of this. Well, right. It, that, that, it's, Pretty cool, honestly. Like, pretty soon we're going to have Hercules and <laughs> and Ares and... Dude. It's just basically going to be a bunch Her- of people Her- that Her- don't have punch there, each other. Isn't he? In, in the video game? I don't think so. Who? Ares? Ares, the god of war. I know he's in the video game uh, Injustice. I don't know. Yeah, yeah he's in the game Injustice. Yeah. Eventually, like, the DC universe is just going to be a bunch of people that can't die punching the crap out of each other. 
Like, I wonder if they're gonna like everybody from Injustice. I know is like DC because they know they have the Flash. They have all of them. I wonder if they're gonna make spinoffs for them as well later on. Yeah. Well, see, I can't. Who knows? So far, I can't see like the Flash or even Cyborg or Aquaman holding their own movie. Wonder Woman can possibly do it and make a pretty great movie. As long as they choose the right story from a comic. Yeah. 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 If they choose from like a comic book that was real popular in its time, and then like. Think about well, what if we incorporate it into a movie? Yeah, give it some good writing and all of that. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, I, I, graphic. I, I've like, seen them do some spinoffs of, of smaller superheroes, and they turn out to be terrible. Mm-hmm. So, and that happens a lot. Yeah. See anything else that's coming out? Oh, there's the the Mystery Science Theater. Uh, re- it's not really a reboot. It's more of a continuation, but it's being called a reboot, but it's still a continuation of the story. That's happened. I'm really looking forward to that. What? Mystery Science Theater 3000. Hmm. You know, the guys from Roof Tracks? Oh, yeah. That's okay. funny. Okay. You gotta say the guys from Roof Tracks. I know them by that. But he mentions Mystery Science Theater almost as much as he does Roof Yeah. Tracks. Yeah, I don't and they're the same thing. Have you looked also. down there? No. Look. Look to your Look. left. Yeah. Look at all the Mystery Science Theater stuff down there. Where? Bottom, Bottom I see them all. <laughs> That also, uh, anything Marvel, I'm just excited for it. Infinity Ward. What is it? Or um, Infinity, the Infinity Ward. But I told James after this we should watch uh, Apocalypse. We're going to probably play some cards. Apocalypse? Yeah, X-Men. Oh! Oh! Yeah. That movie looks pretty cool. Looks sick. Alright, I, I think I'm going to close this out. We've been going for a half hour. What is it? I, I, know, really? I know there's a, a series on I'm, TV of uh, Supergirl. Oh, that's garbage. Super- oh. I have one I've, no, I've, I've seen, seen, a, I've seen one episode. It, it was decent. Yeah. Dude, it's I, not even I, on dude, Hulu. I, I can't even watch dude, it. Dude, imagine this. It's you on. can't have sex with Supergirl. She will destroy your penis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because, her, because, you know, Superman and Supergirl, their muscles, are the, like, whenever, you know, they're, they're super strong. Yeah. And when you have sex with a girl, their vagina contracts. It will crush your dick. <laughs> that would suck. <laughs> that would hurt. Why did you think you know that? Oh! <laughs> Thanks for listening. <laughs> no, I, I, I have a quite I had a question to do, end the do podcast you? with. Yes. What? Does Thorin from The Hobbit look like Aquaman? Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh, that's something we should get into, actually. Yeah. So Connor comes over today. He's wearing his uh, Hobbit Battle with Five Armies, and we just got done watching the. Uh, no, you just got done watching like. I watched like, Batman v Superman. Last and there's night. a uh, cameo with uh, Aquaman in it. Yeah. And so he's like, "Why do you have Aquaman on your shirt?" Connor's like, "This is Thorin." It's just a shirt I found in my room on top of a pile of clothes. And it's just the first shirt I put on. It was clean. You got it, Aquaman. <sighs> Whatever. All right, I'm going to close this out, guys. Um, any final closing remarks? Thorne is not Aquaman. <laughs> he looks like Aquaman. <laughs> what? Look it up on oh, Google. Uh, It'll put a picture of Thorin and Aquaman next to each other. Uh, how about you guys like just go look up Thorskin? See what that is. Thorskin? Thorskin, oh Jesus. Let's not get into that. <laughs> Why don't you ask them what do they think of what the hell Watch the weekend about. music videos. They're terrifying. <laughs> yes, they he are. Pulls out a, he's just licking his lips. He pulls out a gun and shoots a guy when he's walking right and, towards him. And the guy looks like a cross of Marilyn Manson and Michael Jackson. Okay, I'm trying to end this. You keep bringing up more and more stuff to talk about. Well, but I mean, it's fun. It's we'll do it on a different hilarious. podcast. Like licks his lips and. <laughs> <laughs> we should make one about weird videos. We, we should. music videos. Maybe we'll see. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this installment of the broken. Shut the fuck up.